I'm excited um, about this one. I, mm. I, I I am too. You know what I realized? Listening back to podcasts, I use that exact phrase every time we change topics. I just stop one. doing that. Like I mean, love it. Yeah. So uh, I'll say it for you. I got some notes actually on this topic. Just read that bottom text I sent to myself from my okay. notes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. That's awesome. I can't wait to hear you say that. Um, <laughs> all right. So uh, topic number two for tonight: uh, Call of Duty Infinite Warfare is announced. Um, that's the uh, <laughs> Infinite Warfare, the most recent Call of Duty that has been announced. But the big tag onto this they, that I really feel like Activision was like, okay, uh, or Infinity Ward, whoever was like, okay. Look at Matt's face. You guys have we, really can. given up on all these <laughs> Call of Duty. Because, dude, Black Ops 3 for me was one of those games that I didn't – Black Ops 3 is one of the only Call of Duties I didn't play. Mm. And it's because everybody told me it was hot garbage. Now, I, listen, I'm not <laughs> – listen. It's my favorite. One. I am not one – I'm not saying it was hot garbage. I'm just saying everybody told me, like, dude, don't buy Black Ops 3. It's hot garbage. So because I think so many people thought Black Ops 3 was hot garbage, they were like, hey, here's Infinite Warfare, something totally new and exciting. Um, but also, we're going to include Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare Remastered yeah. in the limited edition bundle. And guys, it looks really <laughs> it good. It looks good. That trailer dropped, and when I saw oh, um, when I saw them on the ship, that first mm. mission getting ready to drop, dude, I'm like, oh. Okay, now I'm embarrassed. What's the captain? What's the captain's <laughs> name? Captain Price. I, captain Price and Soap. I know it's Soap and soap Price. Soap McTavish. Uh, soap and Price. Um, okay, so it's coming out. Um, here's the, and we can argue about this a little bit. First of all, let's talk about this. Um, some of you guys don't like Call of Duty, right? Not Trevor, at all. <laughs> Trevor, <laughs> why don't you like Call no of Duty? No holds barred, right there. Um, honestly, it's a totally, it's a honestly just a totally preference uh, thing for me. It has nothing to do with the content. I uh, obviously they've put out this many games and made this much money. Uh, Activision is obviously, you know, doing very well for themselves. Lots of people play their games year after year after year after year. Uh, I think the content is probably great. I will never experience it because I'm not a modern shooter guy. Uh, I'm a hmm. big, um, I guess you could say, setting snob with video games if it's not high fantasy good or phrase. Okay. if it's not high fantasy or like super future sci-fi stuff. It's, if it's well, if it's not Call a of Duty is getting there. Well, so, they are, but uh, it's like fake sci-fi. I just don't right. like it. It's not my thing. I'm not a modern shooter guy. It's what nothing is, I have against it. But. What is fake sci-fi? Like, uh, <laughs> I think it's the new Call real. of Duty. <laughs> I think uh, I think you're meaning it's not hard sci-fi. Yeah, Which it's not. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm not sure if I'd phrase it right. like that. That's I what mean, it's maybe called. I will. <laughs> well, right. Are you, are you Call of Duty fan? I have not played a Call of Duty since Black Ops One. Yeah. But I will say I played the heck out yeah. of Black Ops One, both zombies multiplayer. I will say this. Call of Duty story, never like no been into it no. I mean, and here's like, the never been excited about it. Never been. Like, they can do a, so good. they can do a lot of things with it. They can put Kevin Spacey in it for Advanced Warfare. I literally bought Advanced Warfare because Kevin Spacey was in that. Those campaign. trailers were very good. Yeah, and I was really intrigued to to see it. Um, Call of Duty Ghosts. I played. I had that for mm -hmm. the Xbox One. I think I played every Call of Duty except um, Black Ops Three. I think it's the only one I never got my hands on. Yeah. Um, but I will tell you that the stories, they always, at the end of the day, you are a nameless person with a gun shooting enemies over and over and over again. I would, Advanced Warfare um, <clears throat> did have really cool uh, quick time events where you mm. like jumped on the car, you ripped off the door, and like the cinematics yeah. and stuff were really, really cool. But you just don't care. You know, the only, the only one I did care about was Modern Warfare. When they did the Modern Warfare 1, 2, and 3, Following soap and price through all of those missions, mm. I did care about those. But every game ended the same. The button mash thing to like pull the knife out of your chest or to like Ooh, pick up the alert. gun. Whoa, man. You know, Easy oh, rag. God. No, that's like the sixth <laughs> sense. <There's laughs> uh, we love you, Lee. Um, so that's it. I mean, I, I like them. I really wanted our group to get into Call of Duty multiplayer because I think it's very different than everything else we play. Yeah. I will say, like, my one thing is they always look really good. Like, yeah, they do look really Warfare, good. Like, watching the clips yeah, you would true. upload, I was like, wow, that looks really good. I might really get that. Good. And then I remember, no, I won't. Yeah. I'm not <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. Well, they could throw a lot of money so, at it so their so, games are beautiful. Yeah. So what does Call of Duty have to do to make you guys fans? Like, is there anything Call of Duty can ever do? Because that is one franchise they can do whatever they want to do you know what i'm saying i mean whatever they, it's okay if if they go back to a world war ii shooter would you buy it here's a, here's what they can do honestly um they can give me swords and armor and call it dragon age they give you a sword in black ops 3 <laughs> there's a sword that's, that's there's a sword in black ops 3 there is, is. there in mm, zombie mode wow. there no in multiplayer is it, right. in the, is it in the 1500s <laughs> is there dragons 
Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, Matt, what about you, man? Uh, literally, the answer to that question, what can they do to make me buy another Call of Duty, they, they just did it. Like that. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Uh, I have not really played Call of Duty. I've not owned a Call of Duty since uh, Modern Warfare 2. Mm-hmm. So I played Modern Warfare. Um, I skipped World at War, played Modern Warfare 2, and then that was it for me. Um Call of Duty 4 was is one of my favorite games of all time. Just the the mechanics are so clean. The the multiplayer was so good. That was uh you know one of those games that you know was kind of uh formative for me in my in my gameplay career, you know, or m- my history, not my career cause, you know, But by the way, can I just stop you because you won't brag on yourself? I'm <laughs> going to prom- I'm going to prompt you to brag on yourself. Oh, yeah. Well, me and this guy, I mean, we were uh, obviously we've uh, me and Grim Brother 4 uh, grew up you know, together, obviously, brothers, uh, super, super close, and played a lot of the same games. Modern Warfare is not one of those games we played together. Obviously, you know, I'm not sure if you could even do split screen. I don't think you could. Um, no. But this is a game I would sit down and watch him play wow. because he was so good at the multiplayer. Matt, just just talk a little bit about that if you don't mind. Uh, I I j- I was a huge fan of the multiplayer. It was just a l- it was a lot of fun. There was a lot of cool things you could do in it. Um, it was it was kind of like for th- for me that was the first like modern shooter that was really high caliber. Like, uh, pardon the pun, uh, but like that was <laughs> like like Halo was just to shooters in general. You know, Call of Duty Four was to the to the modern military right. shooter. No, just just, so. just mm. fantastic. Come on, where where'd you place, Dude. man? Tell them where you placed. I it it. I don't. I don't. Know. Will you say it? We have a podcast to do. So can you guys okay, just stop I'm this sorry. love affair? Just say no, it. No, 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 no. <laughs> no I'm, I, I was good at it. That was that was probably the game I this was. This guy was best number at. twenty-eight in the world at one point. What? In yes. What? what was that? In, was in, I? Wow. in Modern Warfare, dude. Come on. I we looked you up that one time. You don't remember that? I was probably in some weird category. I'm sure you're right. No, uh, dude. Well, well he played. Play, that's, okay. that's that's no, pretty no. Impressive. I mean, that's I was pretty good. My, my KD was pretty good. I was usually usually up in the top, you know, one or two players in the thing. And I, I never used a sniper rifle. I'm so proud of that. Uh, mm, wow. In my entire mm, I, my entire yeah. history. I love the game. I I really wish we would have gotten into it because it gives a different multiplayer feel. Uh, Eric uh, Skidar120, who's somebody who contributes a lot to this podcast, like just outside of you know. He writes some content, and he's a great friend of ours online. I, he has a great video online of him doing. Um, now Eric, I'm going to get this wrong. I'm sorry, but like Ninja Diffuses, I think it's what you, Ninja Diffuses yep, on yep, Search Ninja and Destroy, Diffuses. dude. It's oh, so yeah. good. I <laughs> love that. I love Search and Destroy. I, I would play Call of Duty if my friend group would get into it, but mm-hmm. I know Trevor's not going to buy it. Well, I know that Ryan may I'm, not buy it. I'm there with you, man. And I, if, if you guys bought it, I think not only would you actually like it, you would get into it. Now let's talk about a couple of things for this Call of Duty Infinite Warfare thing and why. Um, part of us is a little bit jaded right now. Mm-hmm. Um, the remastered game from 2007 is creating more buzz mm-hmm. than the new game, okay? So true. So what did Activision do? They're like, oh, can you just buy this separately? No. They have put it in <laughs> with the new game. It's like, oh, if you want to play this really cool remastered game, you got to buy our whole game, our brand new game. You know what I'm saying? Because I think if you really released Taken King, the remastered thirty dollars, <laughs> people would buy it. I mean, I and it's not only that; it's not like it, it comes with the game standard. You, you do have to buy the Legacy Edition or the you know the yeah. more advanced edition or the Digital Deluxe. Eighty bucks. So you're spending a minimum of eighty dollars. Which hey, you know, spending twenty dollars for a remastered you know Call right. of Duty Four, which is what it breaks down to. If you you know if you break it all down. That's a that's an amazing deal. I would pay you know forty dollars for just that remaster alone, which I'm sure is probably going to happen. Even though they've confirmed that you're not able to buy it standalone, you know they did say in right. you know the in the last Black Ops game that you know the supply drops were not going to have weapons in them, and you know then they eventually did, and then right. you know season pass holders were going to get everything, and then there were maps they didn't get. So um, I'm I'm really excited for for the the remaster. I'm I am kind of miffed that I do have to buy the entire thing because I'm I'm gonna get it day one. I'm I'm not gonna wait. Um, you mm. know, and it it but you know it is only the multiplayer is is only launching with ten maps mm. um, of the sixteen that launched with the game. Plus there were four in a map pack, so it's twenty. So we're getting h- half the maps total. So I don't know if there's any plans to launch those afterwards. Right. You know, if if that will go to a season pass, people, if that'll be DLC. 
Um, yeah, you know, th- and there are a lot of great maps, and you know, m- there may not be twenty maps worth. Right. You know, we we may be overindulging the nostalgia a little bit. It is shipping with maps like uh, Crash and Crossfire and mm. Backlot, which oh are oh all yeah, great maps. Backlot, Newtown. So that's the only, so only so map I remember from like oh, any uh, Black Ops Man. <laughs> Newtown. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that was Dude, armor for um, No, <laughs> but let me tell you what. Uh, if you if you commit to buying day one, I'll buy with you. I, I really will. I'm right wow. there with you, man. I'll buy with you. That'd be awesome. If you guys buy it day one, convince my wife. I'll won't. Oh, shut up, Ryan. <laughs> Rich, Richard um, says he's in, so that's Richard's all Richard's in, too. All right, so um, <laughs> while we're still on Call of Duty, let me tell you what my, some of the favorite stuff about Call of Duty was back in the day um, that they that they kind of pulled away from, and I hate, dude, the the, the special operation stuff you do with the two players. Did you guys ever do that oh, yeah, in any fun. Call of Duty? Yeah. I did God, a couple those of were so of much fun. Spec where it's like, Modern hey, Warfare 2, yeah. Yeah, yeah Spec Ops Modern Warfare 2, they put you in there like, hey, you're in this thing, there's eight juggernauts, you mm-hmm. got to kill them all. Like, man, I had so much fun with that crap and now i feel like we're we're such a multiplayer base like couch co-op we talked sure. about in one of our former podcasts it's like gone yeah but that to me was i remember getting guys over to my house and passing the controllers around and yep. see who could beat those special ops missions yep because uh, they were just so so much yeah. fun i had some of my best gaming experiences uh doing the spec house mission doing snatch and grab with uh grim brother one and doing the i don't remember what the mission was called but the the one with the boathouse and the, and the big house in the middle yeah that was like literally we had like a like a like a stand Mexican standoff right. movie style uh, scene with that you know we were both running back to the boathouse for cover I got down by oh the yeah, last dude. juggernaut you know I'm, I'm shut go on without me Jeff go on <laughs> yeah. so he turns around and he runs back guns blazing and takes the juggernaut down it was it was magnificent so cool, man. beautiful artistic it was it was so wonderful fun. so yeah so I, I definitely missed it <coughs> Call of Duty is launching uh, the, the date on that what would they throw the date uh, on November, there November fifth or something like that yeah something like that I don't know remember remember I, I got to look at it too. <laughs> Thank you, Ryan. Hey, man, uh, no, I'm sorry. I don't have much to contribute. November to, to November. So I'll just throw. Uh, it looks like it looks like it'd be November eighth. That's a mm. Tuesday. Um. Anyway, so, um. <clears throat> yeah, like I said, I, I'm excited about it. I think the remaster is getting more uh, attention than uh, inf- what's it called? I don't even know. Infinite War. <laughs> Infinite <laughs> Warfare. Yes, it's, it's Call of Duty developed by Infinity Ward. Infinite Warfare. <laughs> Infinite Warfare. <laughs> so, right. Not yeah, yeah, very time, exciting about that. Cheap. Also, cheap this will be the first uh, Infinity Ward Call of Duty that it has uh, zombies included. Oh, that's yeah. right. No, they I don't ever do zombies, man. No, no, no I love that zombies. was a big thing. Zombies is fun too. That is what really took the place of Spec Ops was zombies. It's oh man, Black Ops zombies. zombies I played all the time mm. as Richard Nixon. Whew. As as Richard Nixon did, I'd play. Yeah, you could play as no, Richard Nixon. No, if you call the zombies undead and then give me swords and armor and call it Dragon Age, I'll play it. Okay. Oh God, there we go. Once again, <laughs> Turf plays one type of game. That's it. 